Hello everybody and welcome back to the 21 day coding challenge course. It's day 7, lesson 7. It's hard to believe that 7 days have gone by already. So if you're hanging in there, awesome. Just keep yourself busy and keep uh, coding. Now, I, I was really surprised at the number of people and the types of people that are actually doing this course. I've got, you know, uh, I got a message from a school principal somewhere in Johannesburg who says he really appreciates this. He's sending it out to his, his whole school. Another group of teachers put up their students onto a WhatsApp group and they've, they've added me as admin on the WhatsApp group and I'm, I'm communicating with the students directly onto WhatsApp. So I'm, I'm sharing the content with them and if they have any questions, then they ask it on the group. And what's great is the parents are also on the, on the group and they are also asking questions. The parents are trying it out. It's, it's really, really amazing. And I can't believe the ages of people. I mean, we've got people that are six years old developing mobile apps. It's really mind-boggling. So no matter who you are, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, the oldest person that I got on this on this course, as far as I know, is that he's over 60 years old. So there's really no excuses. I think everybody should give it a stab. And if you run into issues, stick with it. Ask us questions. I mean, we are open for questions on all social media as well as on our, on our website. And we'll be happy to answer any of your questions and help you in any way we can. On the topic of questions and issues, I know some of you were having some issues around unzipping the image folder into your, your, your app folder. Now, uh, you, there's a couple of steps. One is you needed to download your images folder. The other is you needed to copy it into your apps folder which was working out fine. But most of you, or not most of you, quite a few of you were having some issues around unzipping that, that folder so that you get your file with your images. And as a result, when you code the name of your image into your, your brackets and you run it in the browser, all you see is that, that broken rectangle instead of seeing your actual image. So what I realized was that the way that I showed you how to unzip that file was on a Mac computer and I have to admit it's much easier on a Mac than a Windows <laughs> machine. So I decided to bring my Windows guy, this is my son Masi, and uh, he he knows the Windows stuff because I develop on Mac and he develops on, uh, on Windows. So yeah, I know I showed the Mac way, uh, you showed the, the, the Windows way. All right, now it's actually actually quite simple and I'll walk you through all the steps and we'll take a look at some of the common things that could go wrong. That's like common mistakes that, that people make and how to fix them. Correct. Awesome stuff. Let's cool. get down to it. Okay, so what I've done is I've downloaded the images.zip file and it's placed it inside my downloads folder. So the first thing you're going to do is move this to your project folder. And to do that, we can just right click and click on cut. Or copy. Or copy. Or you can use the keyboard shortcuts if you're familiar with them. Then I'll head over to my documents, go inside the quiz app, and then I'll right click again and click paste. Okay. Excellent. I, I, from what I see, most people get as far as this, or almost everybody. It's from here that uh, some people have some difficulty. Okay. So. The process is actually quite simple, but I've noticed a few uh, issues that could come up and I'm going to show you how to uh, resolve those. Now, when you're extracting a file on Windows, you don't need to download any additional software. You can just right click on the zip file. This is Windows 10, right? This is Windows 10, correct. Right. And then click extract all. And it's going to bring up this window. Now there's two options here. Number one is the extraction path. By default, Windows will extract your zip file in the same folder, uh, in, in, the, in the same folder that, that it's in, but it will also add it to a, a folder called images. So in, in this case, because our images.zip file is called images, it can extract it in documents, quiz app, and inside another folder called images. Okay, so that's where a lot of people were having uh, trouble they were getting stumped because you had quiz app 
and inside there you had the images folder as normal and inside images you had another images folder and inside that only was the images so how do we avoid that okay all we need to do is delete this last ah, images. Okay, okay okay so there's only going to be one images folder and inside there is going to be your images right correct excellent so once you're done with that we just hit extract and there we go so you notice two files pop up one is the mac os x file that you can delete obviously can delete that out but is, isn't that a hidden file is it it's supposed to be hidden uh no all uh, right that file will be visible but if you can see it you just delete that you can just go ahead and delete it and if we go inside the images folder we notice that there's no yes. additional folders and again we can just delete this dot ds store. DS store. All right. That's 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 from the Mac operating system. For some reason the Mac embeds it inside there. All right, let's go back to the root folder. Obviously you don't need images.zip any longer here, so you delete that. So now you've got index.html and your images folder and inside there, double click on that, you've got your images. Brilliant. Perfect. That is excellent. That makes life so much easier for our users. Awesome stuff. I'll take over from here now. Cool. Okay, so moving on. Now today we're not going to do any actual coding, but we're going to do an introduction to a, an extremely important section in your coding, and that is style sheets. Now, style sheets are written in a language called CSS. CSS stands for Cascade Style Sheets. What we've been coding up until now is known as HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So HTML and CSS work together hand in hand. You can think of HTML as the code that builds the structure of your, your website or your app. Very similar to a house. So when you build a house, first you build the actual structure and then you do all the designs and interiors. So the structure will entail what? The bricks, the, the, the concrete, the cement, etc. So you've got the, the shell of your building. And then your interior people move in and then they do all of the styling. So then they put on the plaster and the paint and the tiles and everything that makes a house look beautiful. Now, you can think of style sheets as doing the exact same thing for your app or your website. Now, let me show you what I mean. This is the finished version of our quiz app. If you recall, I showed you this in lesson one. So you can see it's very beautiful. It has lots of different fonts and colors and it has the image here. It looks great. But now, what will this look like without style sheets? I can actually show you that. Boom, there we go. That's the exact same code, the exact same HTML, except that I've disabled the style sheets. So you can see what happens. It just looks plain and ordinary. In fact, it looks very similar to what we've done up till now in our lessons. But we want to move from this to that. And how do we do it? Using style sheets.